So guys, welcome to our channel once again. In today's video on our biology jump exam revision series, we are going to look at these 21 jump repeated questions on food chain, food web, and tropic levels. So guys, let's start with the first question. So I believe you already know what to do. Remember, you can always pause the video at any point to try to see if you can get the answer to the question before we provide the answers. So let's start with the first question here. This is question number one. The question says, which of the following would be the primary producer in a food chain? So the options, A is green plants, B, carnivores, C, saprophytes, D, herbivores. So guys, the answer to this question is option A, and that's green plants. Actually, green plants have the ability to produce or manufacture their own food. Perhaps they are the primary producers in the food chain. So let's look at the next question, and that's question number two. The question says, a pyramid of numbers can be defined as A, the numerical relationships of a food chain, B, the number of plants and animals in a population c classification of organisms in different habitats d the number of plants and animals in an ecosystem so guys the answer to this question is the numerical relationships of a food chain actually a pyramid of numbers shows the numerical relationship of a food chain it shows the number of organisms at each tropic level in a food chain. It actually starts with the producers at the base and then ends with the top predators at the apex. So guys, let's look at the next question and that's question number three. The question says, the linear feeding relationship between organisms in an ecosystem is known as A, nutrition, B, food web, C, pyramid, D, food chain. So guys, the answer to this question is option D, and that's food chain. The linear feeding relationship between organisms in an ecosystem is actually the food chain. The food chain describes a single chain or pathway along which energy flows in an ecosystem in an order of a hierarchy. So it actually shows the pathway of flow of energy as a result of feeding relationship between each levels so guys let's look at the next question and that's question number four the question says what are plants called in a food web so the options are a decomposers b consumers c producers d scavengers so guys the answer to this question is option c and that's producers Plants are called producers in a food world because they are found in the lowest tropic level. So they are actually the only level that has the ability to manufacture or produce their own food. So let's look at the next question. And that's question number five. Guys, the question says, use the diagram below to answer the question. So you can see the diagram here. Here's the question. Primary consumers are found in A, 1, 3, and 7, B, 1, 2, and 3, C, 2, 3, and 7, D, 2, 4, and 5. So guys, the answer to this question is option C. Primary consumers are found in 2, 3, and 7. So when you look at this diagram so well, you realize that at the lowest level you have plants so these plants will be eaten by moths grasshopper and herbivores so these two three and seven are actually the primary consumers because they are the first to um, actually derive energy from these primary producers in the tropic level so let's look at the next question guys and that's question number six the question says in a food chain each succeeding level 
in a forward direction represents a a decrease in the number of individuals b an increase in the number of individuals c a gain in the total energy being transferred and d an increase in the biomass of individuals so guys the answer to this question is option a a decrease in the number of individuals usually in a food chain as the tropic level increases there is a decrease in the number of individuals for instance you have a forward movement from grass to grasshopper to lizard to snake to hawk so you'll see that as this moves in this forward direction there is a decrease in the number of individuals in each of these sub levels so guys let's look at the next question and that's question number seven the question says which organism in the food web illustrated above is an omnivore so we have option a hawk option b prayer mantis c rat d weevil so guys the answer to this question is rat because you can see the rat feeding on weevil which is an animal source and then it also feeds on rice which is a plant source so guys the answer to this question is the rat rat is an omnivore in this food web so let's look at the next question question number eight the question says in a food chain involving a primary producer a primary consumer as well as a secondary consumer the sharing of tropic energy is in the form that the a secondary consumer takes up all the energy contents of the primary consumer b secondary consumer gets only a small portion of the energy contained in the primary producer c primary consumer has more energy than the primary producer d energy is shared equally between the three groups of organisms so guys the answer to this question is option b the secondary consumer actually gets only a small portion of the energy contained in the primary producer and that's because as energy is being transferred from one tropic level to the next some form of energy is being lost and only a little of the energy transferred from the primary producer gets to the secondary consumer so guys let's look at the next question and that's question number nine the question says which sentence represents the correct order of organisms in a food chain one grass two toad three snake four grasshopper so option a is two one four three option b one four two three option c one two three four option d two three one four so guys the answer to this question is option b and that's one four two three the grass will be eaten up by the grasshopper that's one four then the toad comes up next and that's two then finally the snake and that's three so the correct sequence here is one four two three so let's look at the next question that's question number 10 the question says here we have a little diagram here showing a food chain you have grasses you have grasshoppers you have lizard and then you have hog so which of the organisms in the food chain above have the lowest number so guys remember that as the tropic level gets higher the number of individuals will reduce or decrease so guys we don't need to think about the answer to this question at the highest tropic level we have the lowest number of individuals so the answer to this question is option a and that's hawks so let's look at the next question that's question number 11 the question says which of the following statements about feeding relationship is correct a in an aquatic food chain mollusk larvae are the producer 
B. In a food web on land, grasshopper feeds on praying mantis and on predator bugs. C. In a food chain on land, green plants is the producer. D. In an aquatic food web, various cospods feed on mollusk larva and on sea eel. So guys, the answer to this question is option C. In a food chain on land, green plant is the producer. Green plant has the ability to manufacture their food. Hence, they are the producer in a food chain on land. So let's look at the next question. Question number 12. The question says, which of the following best describes a food web? A. A graphical representation of the tropic levels within a population. B. A single chain of organisms where energy flows from one organism to another. C. A representation of energy flow in an ecosystem including multiple interconnected food chains. D. A diagram illustrating the interaction between plants and animals in a specific habitat. So guys, the answer to this question is option C. A representation of energy flow in an ecosystem including multiple interconnected food chains so guys a, a food web is actually made up of multiple interconnected food chains and as such option c is the correct answer to this question so let's look at the next question guys and that's question number 13. the question says the organisms with the least number of individuals in a pyramid of numbers are the a primary producers b tertiary consumers c primary consumers d secondary consumers so guys the answer to this question is option b and that's tertiary consumers so you have to also understand that in a pyramid of number the organisms are represented in each level with the number of organisms at each tropic levels starting with the primary producers at the base and then it keeps increasing to the apex so if we consider the options given to us here option a is primary producers and they should have the highest number in the pyramid of numbers because as the tropic level increases the number of organisms will actually decrease i believe we already know that by now so after primary producers we have primary consumers then secondary consumers and then tertiary consumers so guys looking at the options here the tertiary consumers will have the least number of individuals so Guys, the correct answer to this question is option B. So let's look at the next question, and that's question number 14. The question says, which of the following group of organisms feed directly on green plants? A. Secondary consumers. B. Decomposers. C. Producers. D. Primary consumers. So guys, the green plants are actually the producers, and the organisms that feed directly on these producers are the primary consumers so guys option d is the correct answer to this question so let's look at the next question here we have a diagram here and from the diagram we are to answer this question so the question says in the diagram the hog is a a tertiary consumer b an omnivore c a primary consumer d a scavenger so guys this diagram shows that the hog is a tertiary consumer since the hog actually feeds on the secondary consumer so guys if we look at this diagram well we will realize that the vegetation here happens to be the primary producers and then the grasshopper and mouse here are the primary consumers here and then the lizard and snake are the secondary consumers here and then the hog happens to be at the apex 
of this tropic level as the tertiary consumer so guys the answer to this question is option a and that's tertiary consumers so let's look at the next question and that's question number 16 the question says a food chain always begins with a let's look at the options option a says the composer option b primary consumer option c producer option d consumer so guys we don't need to think about the answer to this question already we know that the food chain will always begin with a producer so the answer to this question is option c let's look at the next question that's question number 17 we have to use this diagram again for this question and here the question says the biomass is likely to increase in the sequence a three five six seven b one three four five c one two four five d five four three one so guys if we look at this diagram here we we'll realize that the biomass will increase from the highest tropic level to the lowest or to the least tropic level so we have five four three one to be the answer to this question because remember that as the tropic level increases the biomass actually decreases so if it is such then the reverse is also the case as the tropic level decreases the biomass increases so the increase in the sequence the biomass will actually increase in the sequence five four three one so let's look at the next question guys and that's question number 18. the question says the correct order in a food chain involving the organisms one grasses two hogs three snakes three snakes four grasshopper five lizards is a one four five three two b five four three two one c three two four five one d one two three four five so guys we know that normally we are to start with the primary producers and that's the grasses so we'll count for one and then after that is the grasshoppers that's four then after that after the grasshoppers the next in this sequence is the lizards and that's five the next should be the snakes and that's three and then finally we have the hogs and that's two so guys the answer to this question will be option a one four five three two so guys let's look at the next question that's question number 19 the question says the feeding pathway in all ecosystems begin with a producer b primary consumer c decomposer d secondary consumer so guys the answer to this question is option a and that's producer so guys let's look at the next question question number 20 the question says which of the following represents the correct sequence of organisms in a typical food chain so we have a grass rabbit snake hawk b hawk snake rabbit grass c snake grass rabbit hawk d rabbit grass hawk snake so guys the answer to this question is option a and that's grass rabbit snake and hawk so this is the correct sequence of organisms in a typical food chain so let's look at the next and the last question guys the question says which of the following best describes the concept of tropic levels in a functioning ecosystem a the levels of ecological interaction within an ecosystem b the levels of biological diversity within an ecosystem c the levels of nutrient cycling within an ecosystem 
d the levels of energy flow within an ecosystem so guys the answer to this question is option d the tropic levels actually shows the level of energy flow within an ecosystem where organisms at each level feeds and derive energy from organisms from the lower level so guys this will be the end of these questions if you enjoyed this video please give it a thumbs up don't forget to subscribe to our channel if you're not yet a subscriber also feel free to leave your questions on the comment section below and we'll ensure to give you a response don't also forget to share this video with your friends to enable us to reach out to more audience thank you for watching this video